the Guardian is dying. Soon we will be free again. Which brings us to the library, Mr... What did you say your name was again? Uh, Alfred. Alfred Walsh. Right. Well, Mr. Walsh, this is the library. It looks quite ancient. Indeed it is. The entire building is very old. I believe it dates back to the 15th century. It used to be owned by a noble family up until the beginning of the 20th century. Then, when the last descendant died, the property was donated to the community, as ordered in his last will and testament. Uh, thank you for the explanation, but I still haven't quite figured out what my job here entails. Your job consists of overseeing the library all day long, and taking care of the books. What do you mean by taking care of the books? I mean dusting them off, keeping them in order, or whatever. I can't tell you what taking care of the books entails. You should be telling me. Weren't you supposed to be an experienced librarian? Oh, sure. I know exactly what to do. That goes without saying. You'd better be telling the truth, because you're on a one-month trial. Mess things up, and not only will you lose your job, but you will bitterly regret it. Yeah, I got it. Don't worry, man. Fine. You'll come here every day at 8 a.m., and you'll stay here until 6 p.m. You must never step out of this room for any reason. I'm the custodian of the rest of the building, and you could never leave this room without me noticing. Are you telling me I can't even go to the toilet? Of course you can, but only for the minimum necessary time. And you must always lock the library door behind you when you do so. If this isn't a public library, then why do you need a full-time librarian? I don't know. I'm just abiding by the rules laid down in the will. The library was donated to the community with a strict clause that there would always be a librarian present during the daytime. What happened to the old librarian? He passed away. We found his body right here in this room. Good grief! What did he die from? Heart failure. Well, I guess that's all. I'd better return to my duties. I wish you good fortune with your work. Awesome! Not a bad salary for doing basically nothing. I've always wanted a job like this. I might get a little bored now and then, but I can handle that. Damn it! The note blew away. I wonder what it said. I'd better just leave it. That's weird. I'd swear that old trunk just moved a little. And it looks like some kind of strange powder came out from it. I hope it's not some weird paper-eating parasite. That would be the worst way to start my job as a librarian. It won't open. It must be locked. It won't open. It's locked. I don't need to look up any books right now. I'd better leave. I.
I'd better not leave. My manager was clear. If I step out of this room, I'll be fired. I don't want to jeopardize such a cushy job. I don't need to sit down. It won't open. It must be. It won't open. I doubt my Swiss Army. That's it. Piece of cake. There's a small key inside. There's a black book inside. It looks rather strange. This book looks quite eerie. I can't wait to find out what's written in it. That's weird. There are no words printed inside. The pages are blank. What the hell? Oh. This has nothing to do with hell. We are much worse than that. We? You've got to be kidding me. We're not kidding, silly human. We have never been so serious. You must be the new guardian. We've been waiting years for one so easily fooled. I'm not a guardian. I prefer the term librarian. It's more professional. As you wish, librarian. Enough talk. Thank you for setting us free. Farewell. Where did he go? He's gone. What is this? Some sort of magic trick? Oh, damn it. What am I supposed to do now? Play hide-and-seek with that weirdo? Why is this happening on my very first day on the job? the note that blew up. I guess that's what they mean by a series of It says, to whomever is going to take my place at the library, be careful. No matter what happens, you should never open the old trunk near the window. Should you happen to open it, you must never go through the pages of the book within. I sense the black book still contains its dark power, which will try to hide this note from you with all its might. If you find yourself reading this note after opening the book, there's no time to waste. You must look out the book, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, and read it right away. Merlin will tell you what to do. I wish I could tell you more, but I feel my time is almost at an end. Merlin will tell me what to do. There's something very strange going on here. This must be one of those hidden camera shows. That's weird. Those books have just turned black. I hope it's not some weird paper-eating parasite. I'd rather not touch them. I don't know what that strange blackness could be. I 
I'd better not leave. I don't know where that blue-faced weirdo is. I must find him. He might be an old priceless book hunter or something. I'd rather not touch them. I'd better... What's going on? This is impossible. I've never had any serious cranial trauma. Well, I did fall out of that tree right on my head once as a child, but I doubt that could have caused me any permanent brain damage. Where am I? What kind of place is this? Hey, where's my Swiss Army knife? Your knife is where it usually is. In your pocket back in the real world. I guess that's what you'd call it. What lies before your eyes is just as real. You'll figure it out soon enough. Excuse me? What am I supposed to figure out? Ah, you must be the new guardian. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. My name is Alfred. I'm the new librarian, and I don't know why everyone's calling me guardian today. Where am I? How did I get here? And who are you? I fear I know the answer, but saying it out loud would make me seriously question my own sanity. My name is Merlin. Welcome to my humble abode. There we go. Just as I feared. Completely demented. Oh, do not worry. You are not insane. You new generation guardians all react the same way. So, what brings you here, Alfred? I really don't know where to start. It all sounds crazy. Here's the thing. I opened a trunk and leafed through a strange black book, and then suddenly a blue-faced man appeared. He looked very frightening. Oblivion! Curse his very name! So the demon has broken free yet again! I'm afraid you've made a pretty big mess of this, lad. No guardian has been this unwary in centuries! The librarian who came before me did leave a note, but... You didn't get to read it in time. I should have seen this coming. The demon has been growing more and more powerful over the years. Oh, come on, Mr. Merlin the Wizard. Couldn't you just please tell me what's going on? You're right, Alfred. I'd better start from the beginning. The history of humankind has always been bound to its tales, right from its very first breath. 
It all began with men and women simply telling each other how they spent their days, describing everything they had been through and drawing the things they had seen. Then came the first myths, along with their heroes and heroines. Tales started getting more and more complex and began to bear deeper and deeper meanings. What humankind has developed into, everything we are now, has been built on those very tales. Our entire culture depends on them as its foundation. Without those tales, we'd be lost forever. If each generation had not passed those stories down onto the next, all the way up until the time when they could be recorded in writing, we'd be beasts, just like any other now. However, there were not only the good civilization-building tales in this world. Way back in the mists of time, no one knows when or why, someone told a nefarious story. The story of Oblivion. Oblivion is a demon who has the power to destroy all the legends, the myths, and the stories of humankind for good. He's real, just like any other character from a story. He lives, and now that he is free again, he must be stopped before he devours all of our tales. Oblivion has already been defeated once. It was millennia ago. He was defeated by Gilgamesh, the legendary king of Uruk. It's no coincidence that the Epic of Gilgamesh is the oldest story humankind remembers. The tales told before were all destroyed by Oblivion. Once defeated, the demon was banished into a black book by an ancient spell. The library you've just become guardian of is unlike any other. The books on its shelves are alive. They hold and protect the essence of all the tales and legends told by humankind. The Black Book of Oblivion, which is stored there as well, cannot be destroyed by anyone but Oblivion himself, the Tale Wrecker. The Guardian is there to preserve those tales and to prevent Oblivion from breaking free again. So I've caused an irreparable disaster? Nothing quite so catastrophic. Oblivion has escaped many times before, but luckily the Guardian has always been able to find a way to defeat him and to banish him to the Black Book once again. Listen, Mr. Merlin the Wizard, I don't think I'm the right person for the job. I stumbled upon the Help Wanted ad by accident, and I just thought it would be an easy job. Had I known what it was really about, I never would have taken it. This is as it has always been. The Guardians have always become so by chance. They are chosen by fate itself. And, even in your case, I'm sure it has made the right choice. Can't you take matters into your own hands? Aren't you a wizard or something? I cannot. I exist only here in my book. I'm merely a character, bound to my story, but you... You can read each story and move freely from book to book until you find and destroy Oblivion. But how can I defeat him? You'll have to ask for the help of the one who's already stopped him once, Gilgamesh. Read his tale. Look for him and persuade him to fight against Oblivion once more. Hurry now. Waste no time. Oblivion is already on the move. The books he destroys gradually turn black and then fade away. You must save our tales. As much as I'd like to hurry up, I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, you're right. Now, oh, how careless of me. Pick up that bell resting on the table. Ring it whenever you want to leave a book, including this one. And please, do not hesitate to come back here to me whenever you go now. Hurry! This is insane. No one's going to believe me. In fact, I can hardly believe it myself. 
All I was looking for was a cushy job, and look what a mess I found myself in.